This reminds me of when mommy and daddy, they did those genetic experiments on puppies and I was personally flabbergasted. I didn't know what was going on and I'm sure, I'm sure you were, you know, out of your mind too with confusion and sometimes I like to run my hand through puppies' hairs. And... Dude, wait, what? You're awake? Okay, okay, cool. I just wanted to say, seriously though, you should come into the video store and run a movie. Alright, well, we'll see. I don't... Is that really a first date type of thing? Actually, to be honest, I have no idea. I don't know. I have about as much experience as you do. <clears throat> yeah, which is none at all. Exactly. And yeah, that's not even mentioning blind dates. Yeah. Alright, well, um, yeah, I gotta head out, but yeah, you should stop by. Alright. Okay. Cool, I'll uh, see you then. Alright, man, have fun at work. No doubt. What's wrong, Bradley? I don't know, but I think I just took a dump in my pants. Yeah, Igor. Can I come in? Yeah, come on, man. Thanks, man. I just didn't, uh... Oh, I didn't... Oh. Uh, oh, hey, don't worry about it, man. When she's out, it's like she's dead. She won't even know you were in here. You sure? Yeah, just come on in, man. What do you want? What's going on? I just was going to ask you what time Natalie was going to come by. Uh, it's 7 o'clock, like you told me to tell her. I relayed the message verbatim. Awesome. All right. Yeah, she's excited for the whole blind date fiasco. Really? Yeah, she uh, she's excited to meet you. What'd you tell her? 
um, I don't know, that you're, uh, you're this nice guy. And? <laughs> I don't know, man, that you, uh, you like movies and, uh, small boys, movies about small boys. Yeah, what else, each other? <laughs> I don't know, that you're this nice, funny guy, you know who you are, that you, you're a nice guy, you take the occasional bubble bath, listening to Yanni, lighting candles, crying. Okay, what did you tell her, really? Now that's that's about it, man. She just seemed to think you guys would get along from what I told her. Why? Igor. Shit! I She likes movies, like you like movies, man. Um, I don't know, she listens to the same crappy, laid-back music that you listen to. She has the same interests, basically. Just whatever you like, she's kind of into. All right, all right. You know you have to blow up an FBI car to get six stars. I know, I know. I just suck at this game. So, thanks again for setting this up tonight. Hey, no problem, man. I figured a year and a half was long enough for you to be out of the game, and I think this girl could be the one for you. Not that I know what the one is, but she could be a one. Not like the steak sauce. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to the video store. Do you wanna go? No, man, I got stuff to do. As you can see. Alright, well, tell his, uh, hi for me if she's not dead. Yeah, once she gets, uh, resurrected, man, I'll give her the what's up from you. And hey, give Max a big kiss for me. I will. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Jason. Oh, hey, Derek. How you doing? Not bad. You? I can't complain. Where is everybody? Oh, they went up to Rainier for the week to go camping. Uh, you didn't go with them? Uh, no, I'm not really the camping type. You know, there's too many bugs, and you can't get a decent shower up there, so. I guess. I've never really talked to anyone before that didn't like camping. Well, now you have. Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm going to take off, but uh, you have a good one. Oh, you too. Yeah, I'll hey, see you later. Hey, and good luck with the blind date. Oh, you heard about that, huh? Oh, yeah. Word travels fast. That it does. I'll see you later. Yeah. Hey man, is Derek here? Yeah, he's in the uh, office. He's on his break. Really? Okay. Max. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Not too bad. Good. It's kind of hot. I guess. How can you listen to this insanity? Hey, did you come here to insult my music or what? I mean, I don't come into your room and insult all the boy bands you love so much. I don't listen to boy bands. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant emo or alt pop rock. What do you want to call it? Whatever, dude. I just don't see the appeal in this kind of stuff. It's just, how can you enjoy it? I don't know, it gets your blood pumping, you know? It's like, if I ever want to release any tension for any reason, this is perfect. Like a calm day at work? Stuff like that. Well, I also just love the music. They're insanely talented, and this drummer is out of his mind. I see. Well, Jesus loves you anyway, though. Yeah, well, even Jesus can't deny that this drummer rocks my ass. He probably can. But, uh, I, I don't know. How's work today so far? It's, it's been dead all day. Um. So, are you, are you getting excited? About what, the day? I 
I think a little more nervous than excited. How did you how did you guys get hooked up on the date in the first place? Actually, Igor met her in one of his side classes. Said she might like me. Hmm. Oh, you know, from what I hear, she is hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. oh, oh, oh. Actually, um, Igor says she's pretty easy to talk to and likes movies, music, stuff like that. Well, good. From what I hear, it sounds like you guys could click. I don't know. You don't know what? I don't really know if this is such a good idea. I don't know if I'm ready to be myself with anyone yet. Come on, this this isn't about Marie, is it? I mean, you guys have been done for over a year now. You don't still think about her all the time, do you? No. Well, I mean, once in a while, I guess, but not all the time. Yeah, well, even once in a while is too much for her, man. She was never worth it. I guess it's not that big of a deal. I'm just, I'm a little hesitant with new people still. Um, after what happened. Yeah, that's understandable, but I mean, this is just a blind date. There's no big pressure here. It's, you guys are just seeing if there's a connection, you know? Uh, what do you guys, what do you guys have planned? Actually, she's going to come over around 7, and then I think we're going to get some dinner and come back to the house. Maybe watch a movie. You stinker. Think a movie at home's a little too hot and heavy? Man, nah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just messing around. I don't know what movie to get though for tonight. Hmm. I was thinking maybe you return to me. You've got mail? Oh, dude. Sleepless in Seattle. When Harry met Sally? That's the one. I'm gonna go grab that. He knows me, right? Yeah, he even knows your name. Oh. Uh -huh. That's sweet. Yeah, he is a sweetheart. We'll have fun at work today. I'll probably see you tonight. Alright, and good luck again on your date. Have fun. about your date tonight. Who hasn't? That guy has it. That's rich. I'm gonna get a drink. Uh, I'll give you the discount. Thanks. So it'll be a dollar. What's her name? Natalie. Natalie? Like Natalie Portman? Right. She's hot. Yeah, she is. Alright, well, you are just all okay. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Later. Bye.
Eric, I'm Natalie. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry about being so late. I really don't have an excuse. I'm just terrible at being on time. Are you mad at me? Oh, no, n no, not really. I'm really sorry. Oh, it, it's no problem, really. Uh, well, shall we go? Oh, uh, well, um, actually, I thought maybe we could sit down for a few minutes first, you know. Oh. Maybe, maybe chat a little. You okay. Know? <laughs> well, uh, unless you want to go, I mean. No, 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 that's okay. Um, yeah, why don't we get to know each other before we go up? <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, that way, I mean, we want to chat while we're eating. Yeah. I, I hate talking while I'm eating. I mean, I feel so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I totally know what you mean. <clears throat> so, um, how long have you known Igor? Oh, a few years now. I, mean, I met him through Max in high school. Oh. Is Max another one of your roommates? Yeah, um... Has Igor told you anything about the rest of us? Mm, not really. Well, you know, he's told me that you love music and that you're a big film buff and that we get along great. Yeah, that's, I mean, he told me a lot about you too. I mean, that you love movies and music and that we get along great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where is Igor and everyone else? Oh, they, they went out to eat somewhere and see a movie, I think. Mm. Uh, I think they wanted to leave us alone so we could, you know, get along great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice of them. So, how long have you known Igor? Oh, uh, well, actually, just last year we met, we got paired up on a paper and sight class. And we just kind of hit it off, you know. We've actually become really good friends, although this is the first time I've been to your guys' house. Really? Yeah. So, are you majoring in psychology? No, no. I just thought it would be interesting. Actually, I'm still deciding if I want to be a starving artist or an unhappy architect. I take it that the artistic part is what you want to do, right? Yeah, but it's much harder. Oh, mm. I suppose that's where the starving part comes in, huh? So architecture is your fallback career? Then. Mm -hmm. But it seems more like the career I'm going to have as time goes by. Why was that? I don't know. I. I just don't seem to be getting the roles that I try out for, you know? I actually even did a couple commercials, but they didn't really go anywhere. So you're an actress? Yeah. Well, trying to be. Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll get something someday. I mean, you're certainly attractive enough, and I, I'm sure they'll recognize your talent, and, and you, you'll be fine. How do you know I'm talented? You know, I could be another Cindy Crawford. Well, yeah, well, she's a model, though. And you call yourself a film buff. Didn't you see Fair Game? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that was a long time ago. And... Well, she's terrible. <laughs> Why? I'm sure you could never be terrible, so... You're too kind. That's what I think, you know? <laughs> I didn't think anybody hated camping. Well, someone does. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not the outdoorsy type. Oh, how so? Well, I'll admit, I'm a little bit of a hermit. I mean, I probably read more than any human being ought to. Yeah. Well, that's cool, you know. Most people... What's wrong? I thought Igor was allergic to dogs. Oh, yeah, um... <laughs> well, he had, he had to get the shots, um... And it took a while, but he can tolerate Taz now. I thought Igor got the shots. That they said that he had a tremendous allergy to dogs and that they couldn't give him anything to help it. Um... <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, oh, okay, um... Let me be honest for a second. Um... <laughs> I'm not Derek. What? Well, well I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm Jason. Derek's my next door neighbor. What, what is going on here? Look, 
I was just very surprised to see someone like you at my door, you know? I just wanted to talk, I mean... So, you decided to lie to me about who you were? Well, it just happened, I'm sorry. I... You're just very easy to talk to, and, and I don't know many people like that, and... I'm sorry, I... I have to go. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Look, Jason, I realize you're just trying to talk to me or whatever, but... This really was the wrong way to go about it. Uh, look, I'm sorry, just a few more minutes. I can't. Derek, who, you know, probably hates me now, is waiting for me, and I hope you can find a better way to talk to girls in the future. Wait! <clears throat> <clears throat> Jason?
Where's Jason? Are you all right? Derek. Dumb bitch. You bitch! Stay right here. Well, no, where are you going? else, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I'm Derek, by the way. I'm Natalie. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. Guys, how was the day? What the hell? <laughs> 